In this video, I want to share with you guys five things that I wish I knew before losing 130 pounds. At the beginning of my weight loss journey, I struggled so much and I made my journey so much more difficult than it needed to be. If I had known or realized some of these things sooner, I think I would have made it easier on myself. So I'm making this video because I'm hoping to inspire anyone that might be struggling with weight loss right now to maybe make their weight loss journey just a little bit easier. Number one, do not compare yourself your body or your diet to anyone else's. In the beginning, I thought that I needed to make my diet like everyone else's, like everyone on the internet that I seen or fitness models or the people in the magazines. I also was comparing my body to other people's. What works for my body might not work for the people I was comparing my body and my diet to. I struggle with emotional eating. I also have PCOS, which can make it hard to lose belly fat. So when I was comparing myself to someone else, they might not have struggled with emotional eating. And I was comparing my diet to theirs and then feeling bad when I didn't get the same results as them. Once I started looking at myself, letting go the expectations of trying to fit myself into someone else's diet or body type, I started to say, what do I want? What do I want in a diet that I can stick to? What is my body capable of doing? I'm curvy and I like eating food and I have a fairly big appetite, so I started choosing foods that worked with my body and what I wanted to do as I let go of expectations and just allowed myself to be, I started to get the results because I wasn't comparing to anyone but myself. So for example, I did the cabbage soup diet. I also at one point was making myself eat chicken, broccoli and rice or fish, broccoli and rice. Well, I don't like cabbage and I also don't really like fish or plain broccoli and plain rice, but I was making myself eat it. So how long did that last? Not very long. If you're choosing a diet that someone else is doing but you don't like the food, you're not gonna be able to stick to it. When I was dieting, the Atkins diet was popular. Low carb diets were popular, just like you know some of them are now. But I love carbs. So anytime I tried to fit myself into someone else's diet that might have worked for them, it wouldn't work for me. It would fail every single time because what I liked was a balanced diet with every type of food allowed. And once I started letting myself eat what I liked, but measuring it out, that's when I really got the success because I wasn't doing anyone else's diet. I was doing one that worked for me. I remember you used to say to me when we were forcing ourselves to eat spinach and fish, oh, you would tell me like, am I a bad person for craving fruit? And we didn't know at the time, that's how messed up our heads were. Like we didn't actually know if it was bad to eat fruit. That's how crazy you can get when you're copying diets that you see on the internet. I had convinced myself that I couldn't eat the things I liked because they wouldn't help me lose weight because I seen it working for other people. But not everything that works for someone else is gonna work for you. And when it didn't work, I felt bad. So instead, when I started saying, what do I want? What works for me? That's when I really started getting the results. So if you compare yourself only to you and what you want and your body and what works for you, then you might start getting some traction because you'll be enjoying what you're doing and enjoying the food that you're eating. And this actually leads into number two, which is do not treat your weight loss journey as a punishment. I think what I did was because I was, I was angry at myself for treating my body the way I did and my weight at 275 pounds was my heaviest. My weight was causing a lot of health problems and I think I was angry at myself for doing that to my body and I thought I needed to kind of take it out on myself by making the weight loss journey like a punishment. And instead what I learned was 
It's not about not loving yourself and being mad at yourself. It's the self love that gets you out of it. That helps you start losing weight. When you treat it like a fun journey, which is why we call it a weight loss journey. It's supposed to be fun. When I looked at it as a lifestyle change, not a diet, and I started really loving what I was doing for exercise and loving the food I was eating, that's when I started really getting good results and being able to stick to it because it wasn't a punishment. I was loving myself and saying, it's okay. Yes, I gained weight. Yes, it caused health problems, but I know that I'm worth it to try to fix this, to try to love what I'm doing and try to lose Lose weight in a healthy, sustainable way. When it comes to diet and weight loss, me and Nicole don't really believe in willpower. We don't believe because we've tried and failed so many times to force yeah. ourselves to do things. We know that it doesn't work. And often we'll get asked like, how do you have motivation? Well, I realized the only time that I needed motivation on my journey was when I wasn't liking what I was doing. I don't need motivation now. And once I started doing portion control and walking, I didn't need motivation because I was loving it. Number three, small changes can lead to big results. I tried for years, like I said before, to lose the weight in really unsustainable ways. Taking away food groups, doing other people's diets, fad diets, cabbage soup diet, anything like that, you name it, I tried it. And I also tried to do way too much too fast. When Kyle used to be 375 pounds and then me 275, when we hit our heaviest weight, we realized none of that worked. But the only thing we didn't try was making small changes. And we thought, well, making a small change, that's not going to do anything. But guess what? One small change can build on another one and another one because they're doable, they're sustainable. And so we started having, um, we were having a bag of chips each every night for a snack. Instead of getting rid of the chips, that would be way too much too fast, we had a bowl. And so we ate the chips, but less of it. That was one small change we could keep doing. And then we added, we switched regular pop for diet pop. And here we were building on all these changes that we could keep up because we weren't getting rid of anything. We're just having a little less, a little less calories. That was it. And um, the small changes led to us losing 130 pounds each and being able to keep it off for seven years. If you decide after watching this video, you're gonna make one small change and that's going for a five minute walk or drinking one extra bottle of water or having one less serving of dinner, that might seem like a small change, but you can build on that. And those small changes, they're gonna get you the big results if you can stick to it. If you like it, if it's doable for you, it's, it's possible that it can lead to big results. So Sassy just brought up this point. When you start a new diet, ask yourself these questions and be really honest with yourself. If the diet that you start takes away bread or ice cream or anything that you really like, can you live your entire life without eating that food you really like if you take it away to lose weight? And if the answer is no, then maybe try incorporating that into your plan. And that's what Kyle and I did. We knew we couldn't live without chips or pop. So we switched from regular to diet, which allowed us to have the pop, but just a little less calories. We still had the chips, just a little less. And that is why we've been able to lose the weight and keep it off because we didn't get rid of anything that we love. We still eat it. The low calorie version most of the time and then we give ourselves the regular thing every once in a while. And that is what really helped us. Why? Because it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle change. We can do this forever. Number four, mistakes are normal. Failure, believe it or not, success is actually born out of failure. And I had no idea. I made so many mistakes. Kyle made so many mistakes and we would get mad at ourselves for them. Mistakes are normal. A weight loss journey is not linear. We did fall off track. I think that's very normal. And we fell off track multiple times. But every time that we fell off track, we learned from it and we got stronger. And we said, we're not giving up. We're gonna get back up. Every time we fell, we picked ourselves back up and we just went back to our meal plan, back to what we were liking, and we kept going. Anytime you make a mistake, what we found worked was we were gentle on ourselves. We said, it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. How can I get better? What did I do? 
One time I took away treats and I ended up eating and emotionally eating and gaining 10 pounds that I had lost. Um, and I realized I took away treats because I thought I could speed up my weight loss. So I forgave myself for the mistake. I added treats back in, in portion, and it helped me lose the 10 pounds I had gained plus the remaining weight that I had left to lose. So I forgave myself and I just, I got stronger from that mistake and I kept going. And that's it, just be gentle, look at what happened, why did you fall off track, get right back on the horse, saddle up and do it because you can. You just keep going, it makes you stronger. Failure helps you succeed. Number five, this is a bit of a tough loved one. You have to get rid of the excuses because no one is going to do it for you. Only you can do it for you. And I say this because Kyle and I both spent a very long time blaming other things, blaming other people for why we couldn't lose the weight or why for why it well, diets weren't working for us. We actually literally sat in a subway parking lot and we talk about this all the time, looking at people saying, what is wrong with them that they can get half a sub and be full? And how come they can just eat half, half a sub, a portion? No one can do that. We can't do it. And we did that for years, blaming other people instead of realizing we were avoiding that, we were avoiding looking in the mirror, looking that it was our weight that was causing a lot of our problems and that we didn't want to deal with the emotional eating because we were numbing ourselves with food. Once we realized that, we said, okay, we can do this, but we have to, you know, get the weight moving first so we can take care of some of the health problems. And so we started making those small changes. And that was the day we got rid of excuses. Okay, I know this is going to be tough, we said to each other, but why don't we try going to Subway and getting half a sub? And we actually did that. We went to Subway and did what we used to blame other people for being able to do. We did it. And because we gave ourselves the sub and we had a small bag of chips and a diet pop that day with it, it, it showed us we could do it. And every time that we portioned out our food, we got so proud of ourselves and we were loving it because we could eat what we enjoyed and lose the weight. And you need to have someone hold you accountable. You do not have to go through this alone. No. You have us, if you don't have a partner or a supportive partner or family or friends or whatever you have us follow us on Instagram leave comments under this video DM us DM yeah. us we talk to everybody that we can you know physically fit into a day we, we try to answer as many people as possible so you have us so yeah. don't let that be an excuse and that and that is it's so easy to find excuses but you are worth it it is scary and I think that was why I made a lot of excuses. I was scared to fail and scared to succeed. You are capable of so much more than you think. Take it from Kyle and I, we thought this was hopeless and we finally realized, no, we can do this. You can do it. Take charge, get rid of the excuses one thing at a time. You're not going through this alone. That's why we started this channel. And you gotta just take these five things that we talked about today you have to start changing your behavior or else nothing will change because me and Nicole know that loop of going through the same failures over and over again, it never changed because we didn't do some simple things right off the start. You'll see, um, I'll call it an outro, at the end of all our videos we say weight loss is more than just the number on the scale, it's also here and here, um, heart is over here I think, <laughs> um, it's because in order to lose the weight and keep it off, you do change the way you think. Your mindset changes. So if you start changing the way you think, you get rid of the excuses, you say, no, I can do this. Whenever your head tells you you can't, your mindset changes. That's when the real weight loss, the real result, results start happening. And don't make the same mistake as us. Don't take on too much. When you remove excuses, just start with one small thing like we've been saying. Yep, because remember what I said before, one small change can build on another one. If all you do for the next however long is do 
a five minute walk, if you just do a five minute walk, that's more than you did yesterday. If you drink one more bottle of water, that's more than you did yesterday. You're already on it. You're already getting it. And trust us, it will become like normal for you. So if you're not used to drinking water, have one extra glass or one extra bottle, get that down first. Yep. When you can get your water in, don't try to build too much too fast. Start with one thing. Yep just one thing at a time and you'll hear us say that over and over again one small step at a time and praise yourself every small step you take because it's actually not small it's massive if you want to know exactly the exact meals exact portions i ate to lose the weight i have two weight loss guides the links are down below we also have a brand new guilt-free cookbook low calorie versions of all your favorite food no guilt no extra cows, lots of taste. Link is down there. Also, we are sponsored by, I call it Huddle, Harder Than Last Time Supplements. If you want to know the exact supplements we take, the link is down there. You can check them all out. Luckier Marshmallow Protein, my absolute favorite. If you're a cereal <laughs> fanatic like me and Nicole, there's not many things on this channel that we say you need, but cereal. <laughs> owe it to yourself to try the Luckier Marshmallow. If you, yeah, if you like Lucky Charms or cereal, you got, it. you got to. You, you put like, to. you put like a hundred calories of Lucky Charms cereal on top of that, mix Which it <laughs> with protein powder, mix it in your anabolic ice cream, mix it in your yogurt, mix it in your uh, oatmeal. Oh, you're having a good day. A really good day. All right, the friends, we love you. You are not alone on this journey. We believe in you and you are worth it to believe in yourself. You can do this. Do it. Let's do it, guys. You, you can get it. Come on. I'm very <laughs> young. I love you guys. Sassy, love you. Thanks for watching this vid. You can do this. Here's some lovely flowers. Smell the flowers. Love it. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm editing that part out. Keep it in. That will never see the light of day. Smell the flower, then get moving. Get it. You can do it. Come on, guys. Come on. This is me. I'm believing in you. Come on, come on, come on. Saddle that horse and ride. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.